Hi there. Once again I have this uh, Acer 8930 on my workbench because of some sound related problems. Take a listen uh, at how the subwoofer sounds. Yeah, hopefully we can fix it. I've worked on this thing, putting windows and cleaning it and whatnot, uh, I think last week, something like that. Then um, a co-worker wanted to take a look at it, maybe even buy it, the idea was to buy it. But then he decided it's a bit too big uh, for his desk at home, so he didn't buy it. But when he returned it to me, he also said uh, the sound isn't quite right. Well. I have tested the sound before giving it to him and it was uh, okay. But now uh, let me just up the volume a tiny bit. But it does it even at low volume, you just hear it a bit better at higher volume. Yeah, uh, so the sound, uh, subwoofer sounds like crap. Uh, I'm going to try a few things, uh, some suggest online uninstalling, reinstalling the drivers, they get corrupted sometimes, uh, clicking this to swap center subwoofer output, that helped uh, some people, uh, I'm going to try all sorts of uh, software stuff, if nothing works, you know it, we will need to open this thing up. So, let's see. Yeah. That doesn't sound seem to do anything. Yeah, if you only put it to stereo, it's kind of obvious that it will work the correct way. That sounds like a blown speaker to me, but why would a speaker be blown this quickly? Because he says he only used it for a few minutes and then he decided, okay, it's too big for the desk. Yeah, I, I genuinely do not know and cannot uh, know for sure what happened because I wasn't there, was I? So let me uninstall the driver, if I could actually find it. And yeah, it's making weird noises to every single sound that Windows tries to produce through it, so... And others actually say that this HD audio driver from NVIDIA can make it do crazy sounds. So let me try and uninstall that little thing first. That would be quite interesting. So, I'll be back to after this uh, NVIDIA HD audio driver uninstalls. And let me just actually uh, take a quick look and see where that thing actually appears in Device Manager. Does it appear in Sound Devices or somewhere else? Ignore the disabled core from the CPU, that is a completely different thing. Yep, it's here. NVIDIA High Definition Audio. Hmm. Do you really want to remove this? Yes. Yes, let's remove this. Restart later. I'm actually curious. Did something already? Uh, I closed sound. Sorry about that. Did something already change, or I need to reboot it to see a change, if any? Uh, let me just lower the volume a tiny bit because it's quite high. Nope, still sounding really bad. Let's give it a quick restart to make sure the drivers get disabled and whatnot, uninstalled, whatever. And we are right back. As you can see, it says high definition audio device now. 
so it still installed the driver but not from Nvidia I think it installed one from uh, yeah from Microsoft and if we go to sound yep we are at the same issue now so I'm going to try something different let's see if I disable this thing and give it a restart does it help in any way even uninstall yep but we still need to give this thing a restart just to make sure and I will try to uninstall and reinstall the um, uh, Realtek driver for this thing let's see what do we have exactly the same thing so next I'm going to uninstall also the uh, Realtek drivers uh, wrong one where is programs and features yeah I'm not looking directly at the screen I'm at an angle and I barely can read it because it's so shiny Realtek high definition audio driver uninstall my friend uninstall And I just want to see if Windows, yeah, you all, I want to remove everything. If Windows will install a driver for itself for this thing, and with that driver, for sure it will not sound perfect. But if we don't have that buzzing, uh, I don't know, resonating, whatever sound, it means it's not um, a physical defect with the speaker itself. It's something from the software so at least I know what I'm searching for if even with the really crappy uh, driver that Windows will install that barely makes the sound come out of this thing it still makes weird noises then uh, yeah we are opening this uh, thing up and we're back in and watch out for loud noises but there is a problem with the driver that uh, Windows installs by itself for this thing we only have the front speakers we don't have the subwoofer so we are actually not testing uh, if the subwoofer is good or not so what I need to do now is to reinstall the Realtek drivers to have access also to the subwoofer and we are downloading the audio driver yeah, it's quite old, but that is not important for us at this point. Let's unpack it and install it. And yeah, in case you have one of these things and the subwoofer is actually physically damaged in your case, and you don't have skills good enough to open it up and repair it yourself and you don't want to pay somebody just uninstall the Realtek driver and use whatever Windows is providing and you will use only the front two speakers yes it will sound kind of uh, teeny it will not have bass but at least it will not distort and it's quite on par with uh, many uh, really slim laptops that basically don't have any base to them yeah this thing with the subwoofer is awesome but depending on the situation I, again if you are unable to fix it yourself to pay somebody to fix your subwoofer I'm not sure if, it worth, it, if it's worth it depending on how much he asks of course so let's see if the driver will work for us still sounding really bad yeah we'll look into it even more I don't think it's hardware but honestly it could be hardware I installed again uh, the sound driver and also the Nvidia driver and uh, I'm going to give it a restart install first the Nvidia driver or actually might install the sound driver first and see how it works and then install the NVIDIA 
and maybe then if it still doesn't work do a switch and install the Nvidia driver and then the sound driver something is messed up and I don't think it's hardware okay let's give this uh, a go it will be quite loud maybe just turn it uh, down a bit and no the subwoofer is doing exactly the same so yeah Sadly, this thing might actually have a mechanical problem. That's quite sad. Yeah, and it's it's rattling. It's yeah, <laughs> it's rattling the little guy. Ah, yeah. Hopefully for you, it's not uh, this situation, and uh, you are not forced to actually open it up maybe even for me i will open it uh, up and find nothing wrong with it but uh, yeah anyway at least i'm going to try because from driver's side of things uh, already tried all that i could uh, could think of so it is what it is nothing else that i can do we have here a high definition audio controller is I, if i disable this thing i think it disables the whole uh, sound yeah the whole sound so mm. I don't really like it let me just try and open this thing up and see what I get I could have played with the drivers all day long because this little guy ah come on camera focus please has its main brain ripped apart it become became unglued no I'm not going to blame anyone I know better than this uh, this thing is just old age and uh, playing a bit uh, hard not maybe not even too hard just a bit hard and it uh, ended up like this and i wonder why where this is from hmm. yeah i need to investigate that when i put stuff back together and i just want to to tell you that this thing might actually have all the speakers that it says it has because I see one two right here I know that are no ah, sorry you are too zoomed in I see one two right here I know for sure that at least two are in the bottom and maybe the third one is still uh, in the bottom right here somewhere so uh, yeah, in the original video where I work on this thing, I said this is not a real uh, 5.1. It might actually be. So, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. This seemed to be staying in, uh, in place quite well and uh, are okay. But this one, yep, needs to be glued back together to the membrane. Luckily... I've done lots of speaker repairs during <laughs> my time, so I can fix this, no problem. Getting ready to fix this thing. It's quite broken, quite annoying, but I'm glad I uh, actually found the problem. 
I have this sort of glue which uh, which is sh uh, I cannot talk at all which is special for uh, gluing surrounds but uh, yeah you might not have this and 99% sure you do not have this you can buy it if you want to make a proper repair or you can use uh, something like um, it's a kind of shoe glue it's it's meant for leather and rubber and it's kind of a contact glue but you can uh, you can put it uh, over this thing and it will dry and it will remain flexible so you, you need a glue that will remain flexible if you just want to put it on the very edge uh, let me try and zoom um, you can even use some some sort of glue that doesn't remain flexible but I, I honestly don't recommend that so we are going to use the proper thing and I have the proper thing because uh, a lot of time I played around uh, with speakers and I, I think I will actually pretty soon start to play around with a few of them because I, I, I don't know I kind of uh, remembered about it and you may call it nostalgia or whatever. I think this is too thick so I will make it a bit thinner. We need something to pull this in the proper position. So uh, we need something which is adhesive but uh, it can be easily removed and uh, something like this I think this is uh, uh, masking tape when you paint something you use this kind of tape you simply make uh, some sort of ring out of it and glue it on top of this little speaker Let me use something to make sure it's glued in there. Okay, and it is. And now I can actually pull uh, this thing a bit forward when I need to, at the level that it should actually be. Although this kind of... Okay, now I've pulled it a bit too much. But you cannot see anything. You can see I've pulled it... Uh, out of its uh, place but this might actually be a good thing because I can uh, I can put glue all around it and stupid me just pushed it back so yeah when doing something like this it's critical to to take your time honestly that is the most important thing. Make sure this is glued properly in here. And now pull this as much as you can. And I think it's at the proper level now. I will let this in there. Yeah, I like it how it is now. Let me zoom on it a tiny bit. I really like it how it is now because I can put the glue all around it and it will form a nice uh, bead. Yeah. This is how it should be. Anyway, uh, you could potentially remove the keyboard. I think it also has maybe a screw in the back of it or something like that. And it then uh, uh, it says, ah, forgot uh, today. I'm, I don't have good skills at all for filming. Uh, it has two clips on each side, probably a screw in the back. Not 100% sure because I don't want to turn this thing around just to look at that. And I'm not going to remove the keyboard. And in here it just slides like that a tiny bit and obviously it has flex foils underneath it. Again, I'm not going to be bothered because I can use something like this. Put it on the back of this tiny speaker. And I don't know, I'm going to find a position for it. And it should hold it in place for me while I do my thing. 
and it's kind of moving which is kind of annoying but probably it will stop at a certain point yeah I need more of this gluey stuff be back in a moment the center is a bit higher than it should be uh, we have that rubber that broke and we have a part of it that remained attached to the cone in the position that we are now the part attached to the cone is above the one that uh, remained on the outside so I will put glue luckily it will get on the edge of this one and when I push it down it will also glue the edge together which will be perfect so yeah let's get to it I've uh, uh, stirred this thing all around probably I will uh, put in here more than I should and I think it's actually closed I need to open it up be back in a second let's do this I haven't done uh, this in a while and this speaker is quite tiny the lucky thing is that I plan on filling up this whole edge all around so taking that into consideration I genuinely don't think I can uh, fail too much at this yeah how how could you fail to to fill up this whole thing if you use uh, the shoe type of uh, glue maybe this isn't such a good idea that one is a bit uh, harder when it uh, dries out this one is really really uh, elastic so I'm not afraid that this one will prevent the subwoofer from working because I know for a fact it will not And yeah, you cannot see almost anything, can you? Trying to film and also actually fix something uh, is way harder than people might actually realize because you need to be concentrated on what you are doing but then again in theory at least you should make sure that people uh, have a good view of what you are doing okay so in my opinion this is good enough <sighs> now there are two variants I could do what I said and try to push this thing a bit lower or I could leave it like this but I think I am going to try and push it a bit lower but I need a really 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 steady hand okay it went in And it went in all the way which is not a bad thing because I can pull it again up and I actually make sure that glue gets uh, in all the places it should actually get yeah I'm quite happy with the situation I will let this dry in uh, up until in the morning so we'll take a look at it then if I'm not satisfied I might put uh, a second coat of it this will get way thinner than you see it now it will be transparent and really thin but really strong at the same time this is a close-up not looking perfect but this is not something that you will actually see so the most important thing is that it needs to be uh, in good shape and function well and it's dried up and actually it's transparent now it had some air bubbles right about here but they don't matter to us 
they are just uh, aesthetic and as you cannot see this thing who cares so uh, yeah let me try and just power it on like this so I'm sure that everything is okay and then I will uh, start putting it back together just want it to add if you get to this part also tighten your hinges it's a good idea to tighten them from time to time this were loose and it's working just fine let's turn the volume volume up a bit <laughs> I can actually feel the little guy shaking but no rattling anymore exactly what we wanted and needed yep it's perfect and now we can get our paper right out of here uh, be careful because this might uh, stick a bit too much so when you take it out make sure you don't break what you just fixed yeah I like this little guy so uh, let's put everything back together now and it's fixed let's give it a test to go through all the speakers and it's done yeah this was a pain but uh, in the end it was worth it and I just think one of the clips is not, eh, yeah, it wasn't properly clipped right in here, so be careful about that. Uh, in the end, it's worth it, this thing is working. Doing what it should uh, be doing, and yes, it seems the membrane is quite weak on these things. I have really old rubber surround speakers uh, that didn't break like this, but this thing broke, so... Not happy, uh, happy about that, but yeah, what can you do? But fix it. So I really hope this uh, video helps you uh, guys and this probably will work for most uh, uh, SR uh, laptops that have uh, 5.1 sound systems because they, from what I could find online they have similar systems in most of them. So yeah, hopefully for you it's just a hard hardware uh, uh, sorry, 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 not harder. It's a software issue that you can solve by uh, uninstalling and reinstalling the drivers. But if nothing works and only the subwoofer is making really weird noises, the rest of them are working nor normally. You might have a hardware problem and you need to fix it uh, like I did. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it uh, helps you, in which case maybe give it a like, check out my other videos, maybe subscribe to my channel if you want, and as always, see you in the next one. Bye! Just wanted to add, uh, <laughs> there are a few clips all around this area, and I needed to press really firmly for them to actually clip in. So, yeah, there's that. Bye!